CSGO. Hey guys, how's it going? A little bit of a different video from me here. We're actually going to be going ahead and looking at people's inventory showcases and trying to guess how much their inventories are actually worth. Whoever I'm the farthest off from based on the showcase is going to go ahead and win a prize. Now the amount off from the showcase is going to be determined by percentage. And the other rule is that your inventory showcase had to show the tier of your inventory. So your showcase had to be indicative of how much value your inventory was worth roughly. Basically if you had like a million dragon lores but you only put P250 sand dunes in your inventory showcase that would be considered a disqualification. If you guys like this video or enjoy this idea, be sure to join my Discord server because I will be having more of these in the future. And like the video to show me that you want more of these types of videos. And furthermore, there are a bunch of links down below to a variety of third-party marketplaces that you can use to buy some really cheap skins. A lot cheaper than they are on Steam. This video is not sponsored by any of those websites. However, these are links that will support me directly if you buy using them. And even if you aren't buying skins right now, if you just click on the link, it'll bind it to your account. So in the future, if you want to go ahead and buy a skin, it will still be bound to me and I'll still get your support. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and let's get straight into the live guesses and live commentary. All right, here we have all of the submissions for this little contest that I'm running. I'm recording this audio live. All right, so here we are, guess inventory subs. We're going to start it off with the top one here, which is a person that I know personally, Spanky. He's a very trustworthy guy. If you're looking to cash or buy liquids or whatever, you can buy from Spanky. He's a great dude. But anyway, Spanky has an insane inventory. Like, he's a really, really big cash trader, one of the biggest ones. And yeah, like as you can see, crazy crazy inventory here. What do we have here? So we have a lot of liquids, obviously. We have some some fade knives, some marble fades, some crimson uh, crimson web right there, Talon, and then Slaughter M9, some lures. I think that bayonet lure might even be mine. I'll have to look. Like, I have them added, so I'll have to look, but I think that actually might be my bayonet lure. <laughs> It'd be really funny if it was. We got some freehand. Um, oh man, is that a phase four? I cannot tell if that's a phase four or a black pearl. That's, oh my god, what is that? I think it's a black pearl ceramic. Uh, fuel injector, those are expensive by the way. Like this one's not even Stat Trek, but a factory new fuel injector is like a lot of money. 2K RMB or something, they're crazy expensive. We have the AK Hydroponic, a really, really expensive skin there too as well. If that's like factory new, it's like insanely expensive. Even the minimal wear one's super expensive. I uh, got an M4 Knight, those are like crazy expensive now. Uh, Deagle Blaze, those are still probably around the three to five hundred dollar area, I think. Some gloves there. Got some vice gloves. Those are those are definitely expensive. They look like they're good condition vice gloves as well. But yeah, this is like as high tier as it gets for like liquid inventories. This is a lot of liquid stuff. Um, knowing Spanky, I have a little bit of an advantage just because I like I know what he's all about. Uh, the showcase, I, I guess I know a little bit more than just what the showcase shows. But I would say for Spanky's inventory. I would guess like 120k? I would say like 125,000. All right, and the answer is 150,000 plus USD cash. Dang, that is a lot. That is a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't think I'll be giving a price to Spanky for this video. All right, next up we have Cosmic Blaze, it looks like, and he's just got yeah, some mediocre stuff here, I would say. He's got some cool stuff, though. Like, the Battle Scarred Hollow is really cool. Uh, the uh, Entropic Hollows are really, really cool. But, yeah, pretty cool little little thing here. 2,232 items total. So, maybe that's not all CS items. Like, maybe he has, like, a bunch of TF2 items or something like that. All right. Well, if uh, we're going off this picture, I would say his inventory, eh, probably not too crazy. Uh, he doesn't even have the full showcase filled out. Um, I would say that this is probably in the range of like, you know, he could have done a trick showcase, who knows, I, that 2,000 items is scaring me. I would say like $35 for the inventory, because the AK Slate's probably like a couple dollars, the Entropics are like a couple dollars, yes. 55 US dollars, not too bad. Not too bad, not too far off. I'm gonna check his like actual inventory now. All right, next up we have the uh, Urvis, Urvis, that's his name? Yeah, Urvis. And he's got, okay, he's got something interesting going on here. It says the prism terraces aren't identical. All right, so we got some nice stuff here, actually. We have the M uh, M4A1S blue phosphor. Uh, we have the Navaja ruby. So I don't know how much Navaja rubies go for. 
If I had to guess, I'd say they're probably sitting in the range of like 300, 300 to 350, I think, with for a Navaja Ruby. Because I owned a Gut Ruby with a really cool float, and that ran me like five to six hundred dollars in that range. I think 1500 is a really good guess, but I think I want to go lower. I'm gonna go 1300. All right, grand reveal. 1100 USD by buff ignoring storage. All right, so I think 1300, I, I, well, you're not winning, Irvis, because um, I was a lot closer to your guess than the other two. All right, moving on, we have far and high. So this is, this is crazy. I mean, look at this. What in the world is going on here? Okay. <laughs> so this is where my knowledge of high tiers is going to come into, in, come into play. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have a great knowledge of high tiers. We have a Talon Ruby. We have a, we have King Snakes. I can pretty much guarantee they're Minwear King Snakes if he has enough for a Talon Ruby. Uh, we're gonna go 1500 on the gloves. So I know the prices of like some Doppler gems. I don't particularly know for the Talon Ruby. Probably 8k on the Talon Ruby. It's probably less actually. Oh man, there's no way that's 8k, right? Let's go. Let's go 5k on the Talon Ruby. All right, 5k on the Talon Ruby. 1500 on the on the I think what I think are King Snakes. So we're looking at 6,000 to 500 already. We have a flip side hollow from Cato 15. Those are like about 200, I believe. I think those are in the range of like 200 to 300. We have a Deagle Blaze that's like 400 right there. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Far and high. Definitely an expensive inventory. He's a very high tier collector. Uh, but he's not, I don't think he's on the tier of Spanky by any measure of the, uh, of the, of the word. 38k, show me 38k. 22,500 USD. According to Shark Bay Bot. All right, so Shark Bay Bot's a bit off. Shark Bay Bot is a bit conservative when it comes to pricing. So for the purpose of this contest, I'm going to bump that up to 28,000. All right, now we have a Spanish Inquisition, a pretty active member of my Discord. So after checking out the profile, it looks like the storage unit here is going to be is something called Garbage Investments with 700 um, items in it. So I'm going to go ahead and assume those are like the RMR type. He's got an AK Slate here as well. Um, he's got an AK Elite Build stat track, so some decent stuff there. PGL Krako uh, Immortals, I believe it's an Immortals uh, Hollow, but I would say it's approaching the 100 area. I'm going to go ahead and just give this around $100, because even if this is like 70 or like 120 or something, I'm still like in the right area. 65 USD, all right. I was quite a bit off on that one. All right, moving on, we have Rin Brown. He's got a decent little chunk of stuff here. The AK Trader, the AK Empress, and the Trader are like a bit. That's probably putting him in the $50 area. And then the M4A4 Neo Noir is another like $6 or so. But uh, let's go ahead and check. We're guessing $120 for this inventory. And show me $120. $130. Okay. I was super close on that one. All right, moving on to Let's Rive. Let's Rive here. All right, he has a Karambit Case Hardened. He has a Stat Trek Vulcan. Okay, this guy is flexing a little bit here, man. All right, so main thing here that's that's kind of throwing me through a loop is the AK Vulcan because that could either be a really, really expensive Vulcan if it's like Stat Trek Fact New. Also, the Karambit Case Hardened. It's fully possible that that thing is a blue gem. So for the Hot Rod, the Glock Fade, and the Deagle Blaze, we're probably looking at a solid 2.5 grand. I think 12k is a solid guess for this inventory. If it's more than 12k, then probably got the Blue Gem wrong. This guy could definitely win it. I'm not a huge guy of Blue Gems, but I valued the Karambit at like 2k in my mind. Show me 12k. 5k. All right, we're quite a bit off on that one. We're 7k off on this guy's inventory. Moving on, we have NXCK, Nick. We'll just call him Nick. Nick has a pretty decent little chunk of stuff here. He's got two Crimson Web Knives, a little weird. We got some gloves here. I actually unboxed these gloves recently. Holofoil, it is a the 2006 limited master's edition platinum holofoil pepper. They're a uh, total crap, even in minimal wear. These things are like 90 bucks. We have the Phantom Disruptor. Those are deceptively cheap. Those are like a few dollars, five bucks probably. Valuing them at around 150 each, although I think they're worth a little bit more than that. 300 for the knives. We'll go like 90 on this. We'll be a little, we'll just pretend they're 
We're just gonna go ahead and say these are minware and we'll go 90 on these. Yeah, I think 500 is a solid guess for this inventory. Show me 500. $950. Okay, interesting. Now, unfortunately, I do have a flight to catch, so I have to cut the video here, but thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this type of video, be sure to let me know below, and be sure to leave a like on the video to help me out with that algorithm. It costs you nothing. There's also a bunch of links below that can help to support me, so go check those out as well. If you want to try to join one of these contests in the future, be sure to hit up my Discord server, and subscribe to my channel for the best CSGO content anywhere else on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, I'm gonna go catch this flight. Hope you all have a great holiday and I'll be back to uploading by January 9th.